you hit all your skill shots. That feels like every Azrael uh, match though. Light will have to <laughs> be does. on point with those skill shots. Very long range backline between the Ezreal and the Azir. What can you use to threaten that with NIP? The Blitzcrank will be locked in. It was hovered on fourth, not locked in until now. Some buffering available from the um, from the Arcane Shift from Lights. To look towards bot lane to force out something mm. again because there's no cleanse on Photic. They gotta make Chris. it happen. Nice Zenith Blade flash there from Crisp and Weiwei has arrived. They got a the TP coming in from behind though, and that's pretty big. They're gonna go with the flash in first blood to Weibo. That is big, but the rocket grab back. Crisp in some trouble now with Angel's help. Chris might go in though as well. Get a little bit low. Angel actually put back by the Vault Breaker. Has to flash. Oh my god! Light gets the big ticket! And that's another capitalization by Weibo. They don't want to be in a position where they're facing off against an early soul from Weibo because then suddenly their pick composition has to go into a straight 5v5, which they lose. It forces them way away. If you can then put that into Light, who's already controlling every oh, lane. Well, my that's goodness. a play Angel Pop Blossom, he has the flash after this coming up very, very shortly. It's not up yet, though. Oh, man, beautiful timing from Weibo, and they've capitalized on the flashless Angel. Particularly in team fights around objectives. That will become impactful. 3v3 towards bot side, potentially starting to erupt. Crisp going. Oh my goodness. Shadow pulls the spell shield. That's big. Now double TP's coming in for both sides. Crisp is already gone. Cease and assist in. You got to watch out for that pop blossom right back though. And it's NIP finding a fight. Picking off two members. They actually get Jwo, those two. How willing these, these players are to follow up on the big plays towards the bot side of the map. Teleport's immediately blown. Ultimate's immediately blown. NIP, they're behind in gold, but they're still ready to throw a bunch of punch spawn yeah. and that bramble vest and now Weibo they're playing on the oh, west lane no. it's going to the enemy jungle the amount of CC from just two members of Weibo is just too much for, for them they're yeah. gonna give up a top tower they're gonna give up a second herald which I'd imagine would be used to break up in the mid lane out of tower and suddenly these players which they're already losing in their own jungle are gonna get even yeah. harder to pull up. not only has a gigantic CS lead but he got all that extra gold in his pocket Waiting for a pop blossom. There's a paranoia, but they haven't pulled the combo yet. They're just gonna go straight in into the back of the pit, and light goes over the wall with that arcade shift. And look at the shy, he's pulling off invincible. This is a pick apart fight, and the nice Zenith Blade connects. Shao Hu's waiting to connect to Sharima Shuffle here, but he can't get the damage in there. Crisp is way too deep and goes down anyways. Angel picked out by Shao Hu. Wei Wei goes in and gets whoa, well, flashes out and survives. And now this is picking season for light as he's here to claim and help Shadow go down with the Shy's killing blow. The dragon correctly. I want to particularly shout out Lights as well. Gets well away from Shadow with his flash and suddenly the engager is completely toothless. Dragon goes down to Weibo. NIP don't get themselves sole point and Weibo they stabilize the objective. This is to Weibo's growth, but a star-studded roster would not be the same without these two guys making new legacies for themselves on this team and on this Weibo roster. Paltry in comparison, Weibo rising above the occasion and finding a lot of cohesion in the team fight as well. Invincible in the side lane. Not going to actually take the trade too heavily. I see a lot of bodies down here, and I was wondering if they just go all in. Grand Challenge has been issued, and they find the Shy in the side lane. Just way too aggressive from the Shy. Can't pick up that wave, can't pick up that fight. Gonna lose a turret for it. And even though there's a significant gold deficit for NIP, they pick themselves up an objective bounty. Web across map to so that top lane in it. be it now, can he find the steal? He has been the litmus test. And if they can get this, it won't matter. Because the fact that we qualification of worlds, so it adds that much more stress, that much more pressure. We'll see if Weibo crack under that as Angel's gonna hit that pop blossom but misses it. You got the paranoia, pop of shadows way over extended. Chris goes down as a bit of a distractionary tool. And they get the trade-off pickoff, but Xiaohu is right back to it. You'd think he'd be on Zig through Tristana at this point. He's just doing what he needs to do. He has his crown in the sideline. He has a stopwatch. He's completely safe. Crisp dies, but that's exactly his job. Make sure that he's dying cross map. But with the amount you're losing and with no wave clear or engaged tools, NIP are going to get crushed through the base. They are literally just losing all of their base here at 22 and a half minutes. This is destruction. And they're going to get grabbed. Maybe a little bit of a catch out the shy. It goes down as well. We get the return potentially, though, as a one oh, big wow. member in Fotik is gone. That means they're turning right around. And there's that Sharima shuffle we've been waiting for. They find everything they need. They find all the damage in game one. A triple kill for Light, who I said has been an incredible moment for this team, for Weibo, in his addition from LNG. But Weibo have showed up. They are not 
consistently inconsistent. They'll fight a dominant game one victory over NIP. The shadows are allies to ninjas, but it is the light which blows them away in game one. This, this is one... topside trio that NIP have gotten. And also look at the laners from Weibo. I mean, they are all incredibly squishy. If Shadow manages to get into melee range of someone, the kick into the queue is effectively a point and click one shot at this point, especially with Lee Sin over the last season getting multiple buffs to his Q. It's got, I don't know, since a year ago or something. It's got something like an extra 20. <laughs> but uh, I do believe the people can hear my voice now. Uh, you, you are right. You do sound like a robot <laughs> completely to me. But I do not sound mechanical, like a robot. Less robotic, more flat. Uh, Chainer towards the boss side. First blood over to the side of NIP. As the chain comes through, Lee Sin on the board. Is that very, very strongly. And... Uh, he hasn't really been focused on a 2v2, potentially 2v2 in top side. Uh-oh, the Shy got caught last time around in game one multiple times. Won't fall prey this time, gets the flash out. He wants the solo, but gets taken out instead. The Jester hat has never sit on a head so rightfully as Shadow will end up trying to find some good oh, plays. Shadow. Look at the mechanics there, but the Emperor's Divide comes in and Shadow has no exit. That's the reset city for Weiwei, and he's going to look for another one. Oh, not the no. Shy, once again, walking towards Fotec. Doesn't have the flash this time, doesn't have the equalizer. Might be just dead to rights in the Shy, buddy. He has a couple of these where he's caught out in the side lane. Shadow. Adding insult to injury. No flash, no equalizer, no hope in hell in this one. It's a bit of a freebie. Is there a cross map coming in from Weibo? They have themselves the um, Herald towards that top side. Might be able to drop that one down. But it's still gold over towards that Lee Sin once again. That's Even just later on. Most of the time, you're only hitting the same top. One target. You're not the tankiest member in the world either. You can get blown up. Whereas gold on something like a Kaisa from all of this. Even gold on something like the Diego, which is being shared. More team fight. Versatility, shall we say. Shadow's going to take the first uh, dragon of the game, though, from NIP. And we will end this phase of play. I think yep. Deep Vision being put down by NIP. Shadow going for the kick, goes in, forces back the Azir. Xiaohu, great laning phases, but not able to survive himself. He wants away away, but will take away a couple of these small raptors. And this Deep Vision is going to become a bit more of an issue. And with NIP having members on the top side of the map, the Shy is on weak side. Shua has Ignite, doesn't have his ult. Might be able to add in just enough to kill the Shy, though. Extra shield, is that going to be enough? Once again, finding himself in a difficult spot, taking Invincible oh so low, but not low enough. Xiaohu picks up one. Angel not able to connect the chain after that point. It is a one for one, but extra fights in the jungle and light joins the party. First item with that Kraken Slayer brings down Shadow, who gets a little too adventurous with his forays into the enemy jungle. Shadow, sadly, died under that turret as well, just beyond the end of that replay. NIP getting themselves a lot of bang for that buck. This is what happened around the uh, start of the play around jungle, though, around the red side uh, Raptors. Wait, wait. Against a very badly sin. Gore Drinker, more than enough to see away that jungler. Chris, not able to get the hook, but the W, the extra CC before the plasma is more than enough. Light. Very, very difficult for uh, and I get to take care of. So, lights. Really, the hope for Weibo this time is not just the. Oh my gosh, what do you do about this, the shy? He's just never given a chance yeah. to survive. He doesn't have any armor. We were worried about the least. Solo casting. I uh, appreciate you. You're, you know, you're doing well. I will say the Shy's doing as good as ever, though, right? That Jester hat feeling really good. 0-4 on the side lane. And uh, your side of the map as well. NIP going to get themselves another tower in this mid lane. Always an important objective. Unlocks so much of the map. And now we actually look into it uh, as I'm getting all my audio equipment set up. We actually see Weibo looking pretty aggressive here, but getting engaged on a little bit more fight from NIP. Double lock up there. You do get one caught through, and Weibo, Weiwei gets out alive again. Xiaohu gets pulled by the blade caller there. Nice re-engage from Chris. That's pretty big, and the flame spitter is roasting Angel alive like it's the kill itself. Those Angel wings just got put back and forth. Weibo at least getting themselves on the ball. They can find some fight back in uh, a little bit. on these side lane picks on the Shy is really, really big. Speaking of, maybe a fifth one coming through here. The Equalizer comes down. TP not in time. And the Rift Herald comes through with the a charge. Behind the turret. <laughs> hey, got to go with the flanks here as Angel getting away from Light in the end. 
Maybe Shadow can follow up on a Weiwei, but that is a tier two tower gone. <laughs> oh my god. Is it a second uh, cell? Anyway. Is it a Nico? Who knows? It's uh, a <laughs> death crisp, knows? possibly, Chris, but... I, you know, hey, flash. he's got Spider-Man skills, okay? We'll see Shadow coming around. I don't think they're going to save him today. You only get one, and this time is not it. Chris goes down. Shadow picks up the kill. How many times are they going to beat... Damage on Invincible. About half health. There's that equalizer we were talking about. Not much of a fight in the tank for Weibo, but they look like they want to take it anyways. The Shy gets soloed out there in the end, and NIP go right back to the Baron. Oh, it sucks. Just pull the same trick again. I see this. Whoa, goes in! Huge grand entrance. The Blade Caller actually misses, and they might have a little bit of a fight back. Reset's not enough, though, and they pull down Crisp into the grave. That was a double for Angel, and they go right back. To respond, because if they're not in the same area of the map, they take the Baron for free. The game is effectively over anyway. They make it even worse, though. They never go, they never settle for the flip. They turn it off. an aggressive stance from NIP in game one that did not go their way, and the fact that they go back to that well here for Two minutes is plenty of time to get some more waves uh, shoved into the enemy base. Walk up to their inner turrets. If someone were to hop over a wall, whether that be Draw, Angel, or Shadow. They could look for picks. Those are big things for them. As they have such a big lead, they have all these item spikes, and that's an inhib going down in the mid lane. And it going down. A Q landed onto the Shy. He just uh, had that moment of horror, a moment of terror for the poor top lane. It's like, oh no, not another kill from a LeBlanc. Yeah. He's already 0 and 6. A little bit less crisp. Gonna go so low, Angel! He tries to find the kill, but can't get the damage off just yet. Shadow, Shadow goes for the kick, and he delivers Xiaohu right to the early grave that they dug for him. And I peer now just looking at mid lane with these in it, but Shadow again! My god, this man is like moving in and out of this fight consistently! You'd think he's playing ping pong with Weibo Gaming. Game number two will end under 25 minutes here as NIP put the final touches. It's just like a fantasy book, isn't it? Wherever there is light, there is also a shadow. Six, two, and ten on the Lee Sin. We asked for a step up from the NIP jungler, and that Lee Sin is more than what we asked for. He grabs his most coveted champion in the Lee Sin. He grabs the thing that he can mechanically execute on, and he does just that. And again, the litmus test for NIP has been shadowed. The way they find advantages has been shadowed. Initially, uh, with the combo, Rel and Callista are dirty with the engage that you can do. This is also, you know, not a, a, a far off champion for Light. This is a champion he knows well. This will be his 30th career game competitively on this pick and they will be looking to down smash that bottom lane we do get an interesting one for the top side we get the shot we do on Callista renata last year on v5 shadow is alone in his jungle there's nothing that you can do as well chris stepping up here way way should be able to take away this blue buff you get the crash down actually shadow you overextended the spell shield as well as the flash gonna come through but he might still die as those spears are ripped from his body it's light that gets first blood as shadow has been taken out there's nowhere to hide for the ninjas and weibo actually with angel's help might get something back here but it's Xiao who steps up. The Emperor has arrived and everyone should bow to the knees. Angel goes down two and Light is two and oh. I'm getting a little bit of date. And much like in game one, try as they might, it's gonna be very difficult, but they have to get those early dragon stack and they're trying to build towards something. But right now, Weibo is literally building bodies as uh, here we go, Light, another kill, <laughs> three oh. When does he flip the light switch? We wanna see the exact moment. Hey, there it is! They got the lights out and they're trying to take out Weibo. I don't know if they get that engage. They'll re-engage from Weibo and here oh comes Weiwei. It is disastrous right now for NIP. The fans of the ninjas in pajamas need to look away because you just got wiped. Four kills. To Sidesteps with the martial poise outside of the initial engage and returns around the play. That was inhuman yeah, reactions, which gives Weibo. Immediately. So watch out for that one. He's about to hit himself two items at this point to you at a very quick timing. He's got he's the got light can get the second item here with a mid lane push. So Nocturnal is not that long range. They're going now oh. though. Okay, Paranoia's pop. They got the combo. It started off an angel, but a big emperor's divided. Look who's on the back line. It's way way within the fates call to crisp to get the lockdown. It is so by itself, none. Not too much later, you see Light go back to base, picks up a second item at 16 minutes. And this will happen in the replay.
Get him, Slug. From LNG, that I feel like has made a big difference for them as a whole throughout this season. And I think lights in particular like went their way, but it has been this bot lane early oh, on Angel. that makes everything so difficult. And now Angel is just completely caught here on the side. I don't even know if he'll have a chance. There's the Pop Blossom. They have a little bit of damage back. The Emperor's Divide from Xiaohu, though, and he's there to rip them apart. That's that Nashor's Tooth. That's all that damage. While the NIP, they try and find a fight away from the Callista. Callista's pushing mid lane. Not even that, but they don't oh, need light. Oh, Botic goes down. There is another solo kill. The Shy is taken down Invincible. A double Get kill. Himself on the board, though. Baron going down shortly after this point. Weibo are ruthless with these early game leads. It is twin Andy around teleport. him. Oh, goodness. That might be a little too deep. They're already on the inhib tower. It is down. You don't have defenses to fight under. But here comes Angel with the flank from nowhere. We'll see if he can pierce through and make it so. There's the Pop Blossom. There's the combo. The flash from Light. He's out of there, though, and immediately turned on his head. And that's just a big old bank being dropped on NIP. Invincible tries to find something, but it is a clean ace and a dominant resurgence from Weibo Gaming at this best of five. They were angry, and they took it out on NIP. Game point, and that is 2-1 for Weibo. They couldn't even take the first health bar of the AD carry. That was a perfect blueprint for how you use Callista. Kate, take control of the first wave, walk into the enemy jungle, flip the jungle matchup, get yourself ahead. It's Someone a like Something like Daisy can be really annoying, but as soon as Alistair has ult, they're really hard to get rid of in that front line and can answer the Leona too. And Anila last oh pick. Oh my like, god. Really? Showing is the depth of the champion pool again. The counter pick AD carry meta has arrived at LPL. I am here for it. Way towards mid lane, though. He knows they're here. How much? Wow! Oh he's so wow. wow! He still finds a Xiaohu with the shifting sands and towards Weiwei should be able to make it out of here. Angels hard committing, and that might just be a turnaround from Weibo. This is a two v two fight that could mean so much for either side. Xiaohu, he's gonna go down to first blood, and it goes straight to the shadows. Shadow is not... Ivan's one of those champions with some of the weirdest pathing in the game. Invincible is up at a 1v2. He doesn't have an this Ignite This is either. awkward. I don't know if Invincible can make it out of this one alive. He should just go down here. You do have Shadow on his way. They don't have the damage just yet. Flame Spinner He's with using that the, the heat up. He's going back. Oh my god, he gets taken out. Shadow looking for more though. You better start building some AP because the forest has come alive. Kills back and forth two for Shadow as a whole in this game. They can but make it out. I think the red buff probably would have managed that, that way, where we could get it anyway. Find on the boss. That's a flash out from Fodic down there in the bottom side. They still take the engage. This is a 3v2, but Shadow is on his way. If Weibo can take this out, though, Light can look for a first kill. Weiwei is the one that gets it. So second kill for the jungler of Weibo. Those shadows looking for light. Light doesn't really have a way out. Angel is here as well. Weibo just need to try to get out of here. The accelerated shock blast comes through. NIP trying to chase down Chris. He's just going to sacrifice his life. But look at the turnaround. It's not going to be there. Resets. Light overextended too. He gets the dash out though. And the turret shot gets him back. The friends of the forest take down. Oh, I think he's caught overextended oh, again. No. How many charges this does Light have? Light might be able to chase down. Mobility? that you have here on this Ivern is so crucial. And look at the lockdown. Light gets himself a kill. And Weibo, they found that bottom lane. He's got so many stats and so much um, ability to go in. I think he's going to have enough damage to tank his way through the NIP team and probably get a lot of kills. Particularly with when Neela goes for something like the collector first item as well. NIP cannot Top let... Side. I think uh, Invincible knows that the wave needs to get crashed. The Shy is still here. at the end of his ult. Ooh, there's the flash out. Oh, that connected actually in Shadow. He's looking to go back in as well. He doesn't really have any tools available. Invincible trying to get uh, out Chris with the flank. Solar Flare. That is not going to be enough for NIP to find anything. The beautiful. Oh, he gets a, the tower shot back. Shadow gets a third kill, but it is devastation. <laughs> That's a bad reset. Oh, no. Oh, NIP, you got to get out of here. You have to get out of here. Escape while you can. Maybe they turn it around. A reset city for Fotix could be the call. They get Crisp down, and that means that Fotix's excited. He'll be tearing to take down Nature's Grass. Comes through, and they find Xiaohu. Maybe he wanted this fight all along as a double kill to Angel. Mila, who has that synergistic 
passive, which increases allied heals and shields, that will give huge value to them. Alt from the oh, alt from the shot doesn't bring him over the wall. Oh, tower shot solo bolo right back to invincible and some revenge in the top. He doesn't have his ultimate up. Doesn't have to blow a flash because he doesn't have that one either. Shadow, Shadow. looking to return the favor. Oh my goodness, that was so clutch. Shadow still might die though. The nature's grass dotted up. It looked real good at first. It doesn't matter because the follow-up is too clean. And a kill goes right. Because one team has exploded early game. NIP, they overestimated themselves in some early plays, but Weibo kind of threw uh, them. Weiwei looking to push this top side though. This has been a nice connection they found in this game. And the Shy, he's looking to stack up that Q3, get the knockback into the combo with Daisy. But he can't get it in Shadows here as well. Maybe a bit of a response there as the Nature's Grasp, there's the TP. The Shy is under turret aggro again. You cannot do that, my man. He just gets caught. Takes he get outplayed with flash for flash trade. And he ends up going down once again. The teleport is coming in from Angel anyway. It would have been clean. I will say the way again. Fourth game in a row, they get first, first turret. I'll uh, we'll see if that consistency even remains there. Fotik will burn that cleanse. There's the TP as response. Dwo flashing away. Fotik doesn't really have an exit strategy, and that seated play won't be headbutted away. And the immediate flash response means Fotik is left out in the dust. I think Fotik just had to flash early. I, th I think he greeted that. He went upwards into the river. Maybe he could have joined his team by flashing down over the wall. Chris makes the most of it. They don't know he's here. They will catch him out. He gets pushed back, and that's the pickoff you expect from the Emperor of Sharima. A big kill to light, but the shy is caught on the side. It is a response in that Dust Blade proc for Angel. Good chance Solar Flare comes back in. Fotik has used that cleanse, but Invincible will man mark the shy. Dragon given over to Weibo. Lost run stuff on the Super Mega Death Rocket, but not enough. In this game, it has mainly been the case of his own over-aggressive plays. We've got a big fight, light caught out. Speaking of aggression, NIP will find Crisp caught out in transition. Baron has just spawned, but NIP are looking at mid lane turrets here to make some gold. I think if they get mid lane turret, that's a that's a pretty big win for them. Again, they couldn't quite manage it with the double heralds, but they took it low enough to get it free. Trying to find that Sharima shuffle on the side. The redemption actually does so much work there. And the Shy feeling zealous now with the healing at his back. Weibo just poking and prodding wherever they can. Engage denied. Oh, Light the tried to go in there. Tried to get the big pop, but Apotheosis it heals up a decent amount. Crisp on the other side. He goes out, and Fotik is excited now. You gotta watch out for the man that has almost. 40% of his team's damage! Xiao Hu cannot be stopped! Is he's gonna go golden here? Fotik wants another one. No, it's Shadow who ends up putting a halt to the Emperor's plans. All along, there's one tree left standing from the Weibo forest. He's trying to find any way they into the Baron. pit. I, they abs I mean, Wait, wait, can't get into the pit. He has himself flashed, but he's never going to be allowed to do it. so much Daisy. damage, right? He's gonna still invincible. Oh my god, no way. Daisy, Daisy. Oh, Wei Wei gets the kill. You got Fotix still taking down the bear, and Wei Wei, he's there. 2000 health. He doesn't have smite, though, so there's no way he can take that objective. It like here. Flash away from invincible, stops like getting a kill onto the top laner as well. But this Alistair pick has been monumental from the support of NIP. Yeah. I will say, Chris actually went it's out. It's just a very long range. It's about the enemies you hit within it, but Light couldn't get enough value in it. It's been consistently denied access to that fight. Now the Siege comes on with the Baron buff. Oh my goodness. Uh, see, I, th I see the, sh I see the flake. I see it happening over and over again. Emperor's divide into the Wombo Apotheosis this time. The pull off is easy. And Weibo, they pick apart NIP. There's nothing left, Schwo. You might have had some big head, but pulverizes, but you'll be cut up into some ground beef. Weibo, they over pushed, yeah. Weibo punished. Not once, not twice, not three times. But four times this man buys these incredible flanks. He immediately goes to the side lane trying to capitalize on every moment. And that is an inhib tower down. NIP is going to have to be the one to answer Xiaohu, but he's already taken a tier two tower. One, this is Xiaohu League of Legends. The what? emperor that he has molded into in this series is this nothing is but greatness waiting on his doorstep. You have the emperor's divide there it. as well and push back Botic. 
that is a death knell, and that could just be a huge haymaker. TNIP, Chris Blades too. Zhuo is there, but got the TP coming in. That's Angel, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. They don't have much damage left now that Photic is gone. Accelerated Shock Blast is there, but they already find Zhuo, and they're still picking apart in IP. The Shy has found Angel too, and a double kill for Light. Can he find a third? They're gonna push down the mid lane though, and Shadow's just trying to clear the wave. Xiaohu has done it again. What can't this man from the mid lane do? Don't tell him it's not spring. He's playing as though he is the Emperor of Spring. But... Five, and uh, don't think the steal. Oh. <laughs> Nobody's in range to get hit by that one, so we'll go a little bit wide. Jungle. Can he see it out though? Baron started. Baron is up, Xiaohu on the flank yet again. He has the Sun Disc there, shining some light. Nature's Grasp, the Equalizer, there's the combo from NIP, but you have to watch Xiaohu. Light goes in, Apotheosis, and they have first to find everyone going ham for Weibo. And there ain't nobody left to even speak their name for NIP. Zhuo is cut down in the burgers that he's always been. And Weibo, they find the fight and the final nail in the coffin of it. Weibo Gaming, and it is all off the back of miracle plays from the Emperor of the mid lane. They could have tried to make the miracle run, but Weibo wanted a date with LNG. Light wanted a date with his old team, and they show some consistency as they take a 3-1 victory. Weibo Gaming are your winners of this round two matchup and they will confidently stride into round number three. How terrifying is it to look across the rift at Weibo in late game?